Okay, so, yes, it looks like, uh... It looks like the further we go, the more snake we get. Which is huge. Alright, so let's, um... Let's maybe go for a Conjurer, Enchanter, Healer build, something like that. We'll see how it goes. Well, hmm. I don't want to go Wizard again. But, I mean... Getting a level 2 Wizard this early on is just... It's kind of like, hey, you should do the thing in Nuker Run. Maybe, yeah. I haven't seen a whole lot of Nukers go by, so it's it's high up there. Unfortunately, a Nuker Run would be very similar to my Wizard Runs. But maybe... No, no, no. Let's go for a Nuker Run. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna grab those. I'll econ later. Right now, it's way more important that I just roll them. Let's see. Do we have a cleric? No, that's an archer. Okay, so I have no healing. I do hope the developer uh, actually expands this a little bit further. Like, I'd actually... This would be a game that would be incredible. Uh, ooh. Unleash. This game would be incredible. Uh, if, like, he just add, added, like, a $3 DLC that just added some more classes to the game. You know, uh, one or two more categories and one or two more just, like, unit types for just base variety and some perks. Just, you know, double what it is. Oh, ooh, Chronomancer. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna load up, make big snake with a lot of gun. And I'll just figure out the rest later. We definitely want to go AoE. That's... Like, that's not even a question. It's just a matter of surviving long enough to pull it off. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if that AoE thing counts for the Conjurer Totem. I hope so. That'd be incredibly good. Okay. Pretty sure this guy's a nuker. Yup. 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 No econ, but... Boy, we're already kind of loaded with things. Oh! I got the boss in the, uh, the void nuke. Oh, well, gosh darn it. Whatever. I guess I'll grab it anyway. Because I don't think the rest of these are going to help me. A we up per second increases Carver's size. Cool. I'm just going to... I'd probably save some money. I might go for the archer just to get a level 2 archer to use that explosive arrow. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, that AoE to just effectively stun every enemy inside of it for a considerable amount of time is upsettingly strong. There we go. Oh, Roboros. Okay. 
I realize I'm getting a lot of twos that I don't need. Um, but nukers are kind of rare. Ooh, dimension compression sounds great. And higher difficulties I found. Ow. Let's see. The most success getting a large snake early. A single unit sells for its full value, so you can always sell it later. Yep. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't... I've been kind of avoiding going for the, the level 2s to some small degree. Ow. That was a level 2 wizard. Unless that got cycled out. Unfortunately, I really should not be reading chat here. Roger is just going to have to do it. Uh-oh. No more no more Roger. Now it's just well, I might as well just die. I'm pulling that one off. I want to do a nuker run, but I got to actually have the nuker. All right, this should work. Uh, let's see. If you move the nuker to the center, wouldn't it always be centered on you? You mean the Pyromancer? Yeah, but I always want it on the back. Most enemies are chasing me, and so putting it more on a back-focused lineup will work better for me overall. Out, this is a thing. Your most success is relative. Where this you've ever gotten to use. Yeah, let's ignore that. Level 18 on New Game Plus 4. I, it's, it's still better than where I've gotten. I love that sense, though. That, like... I don't know. I think this is probably the best uh, ascension mechanic I've ever seen. If you do Scout and Storm Weaver, it's really strong. I wanna... Unfortunately, I haven't found a, uh, I haven't really had the requisite perks to pull that one off, recently at least. But yeah, I could potentially go for, like, an Enchanter Rogue run. I haven't done that ever. I got kind of close with, like, one or two. But it's like, I've played a lot of roguelikes, and most of them present an Ascension system. It's like, hey, you want the game to be harder? And I'm like, not, not overwhelmingly. You know, I want it to be harder, yeah, but I want it to be more fun as it goes up in terms of difficulty. Did you know pressing up and down tilts the arena? Does it actually? If it is, it's only doing it mildly. Nor do I want to mess with it. I'm pleased that the dev is still improving the game. Lock and rearranging mechanics were only added two days ago. I The thing I'm most happy about is that he actually added a descriptor to what the uh, restart button was. But no, this, this game has an incredible amount of creativity behind it. And I'm, I'm really glad he's still improving it just in terms of like... There's so much room that it can still be at that can still be added and improved. AoE damage, warrior, or extra damage to rangers and rogues. Let's go with that. Let's see if I can go for the uh Let's see if I can go for a Ranger Road or Ranger Rogue build. But I I would love to see this get an amount of development. I, I know the developer for this game specifically likes to spend uh, only a couple months on each game. And if that's the case and he wants to move on, I'd say that's fine. I just would love to see him revisit the idea for like a Snurks 2. And like, 
go further. Okay, there's the Cryomancer. I'm gonna just go for that. Skip, probably skip the Cryomancer. I probably should go for a bigger snake, but... Ow. That bad. There we go. And fortunately, we don't have the, the range that I think I truly want to be able to comfortably deal with the, uh, the blues. Yeah, Snurks 2. Different maps, more classes, slightly improved gra graphics. Absolutely. Like, I said this, I think, the first day that I played, but if you could give, uh, if Snurks could get, like, a, a graphics overhaul to look a lot like Nova Drift, uh, in terms of, like, you know, really clean visuals, but, like, really nice, pretty backgrounds. Uh, it doesn't even have to be that, but I, I feel like that would go a long way. Okay, this is the Elite. Do I want it? No. I was worrying. I spent a little too much time econing in this. I love knockback port uh forest, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that that much. Boy, what is with these absolutely just trash vanilla upgrades here? Uh, let's see. I wonder did dread hunger ever get back to you? Nope. At least not to my knowledge. That's a, definitely the thing to ask Rito. Uh, he is he is actually the man in charge of new keys. Ow. I think that was my archer. Losing my archer isn't so bad. I, ha I hate oranges. Because as far as I know, they're, they're a one-hit KO. Against, like, most regular segments. Okay, so I screwed that one up a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. There we go. Whee. Who died? Everyone. Alright. That'll do. We've got the Econ. Now it's just a matter of surviving and acquiring enough proper classes. And hopefully grabbing that Stormbringer. I feel like if we can get that, we'll be in a very good spot. Alright. Keep our distance. Oof. Spooky. I want to lose the cleric here, if at all possible. We lost the Jester, who realistically, I would say, Jester is the most expendable of my lineup. Okay. Hey, just found your channel uh, YouTube two days ago and remembered about Twitch. Well, welcome on in. Hey, Carver. Okay, so this gives us Con Conjurer 2, Healer 2. I'm going to move Carver to the front, Saboteur to the wherever. 
We want to keep Jester in the back. I mean, Nuker and Voider, but... I've barely used Cleric. Let's go Priest. And Carver is my least favorite guy. I feel like Carver on a really solid AoE, somewhat AoE based Conjurer build could be incredibly good. Okay, now we've got some solid AoEs to rely on. Did that AoE get big bigger? I think it did. But I figure the Carver gives me an easy Conjurer bonus. Just the priest. Oh, shoot. Didn't notice he was still alive. All enemies move slower. Hitting walls have a, has a chance of releasing projectiles. Or... Let's do temporal chains. Making all enemies slower is huge. Spellblade is rogue. Next level carver. Beastmaster. It's all Vagrant. Vagrant is kind of bad anyway. Yeah, do I want to do the Hunter? I certainly could. Head for that Conjurer bonus. Who would we lose? Probably the Wizard. I like the Wizard, but I think the Hunter might work better. Okay. There we go. Doing a rogue build. Ki kind of. It doesn't seem particularly cooperative. So... I mean, the thing, the thing is, it's not particularly cooperative, but I also have nine segments. Which puts me in a very good spot for... Just kind of hanging. Okay. That's a little spooky. Hang out in here. Yeah, now if we could get the Auroboros power and hang out in here, we'd be in a really happy spot. I really want that AoE perk. There we go. Yeah, Carver is kind of equal parts my least favorite, but also still kind of fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Elementor, Launcher, Skykeeper, Dual Gunner. Oh. Let's get rid of the Hunter then and grab a Dual Gunner. And would I... Get rid of anything specifically to get the Corruptor. Not overwhelmingly. The Barrage would be nice. Oh. Wish I knew how much damage it did. What would be really interesting is doing a Swarmer Conjurer build. But that would be hard to pull off. And we're already... Solid on the whole rogue business, so let's not let's not switch erroneously. I 
Okay. Still working on this one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, did did lose a segment there. Yep, there goes the priest. That's bad. Okay. There we go. Didn't die, miraculously. Now do I get a perk yet? No. Fairy Juggernaut, no. Saboteur, yes. Cannoneer is tempting. But once again, pretty deep in this whole rogue business. Uh, let's see. So I'll just go full rogue, if I can do it. Yeah, I totally forgot I had a spell blade, to be honest. Cripes. Oh. It's the champ, go figure. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, we're not necessarily dead. That sucks. That's okay. Alright. I think I'm starting to lose focus here. Uh, Yeah, I'm losing focus. This is fun. New Game Plus is going to take some work, but I think once we get uh, once we get it going, I think it'll get really obscene. I don't think Rogue is that great, unfortunately. I think what we needed was the Assassin. I don't think we wanted the Jester. Because, like, that's that's my big one. Because, like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like he's very strong normally. Maybe maybe it works, but it's just like whenever I roll Jester, he always just, uh, he curses some things, they explode into knives and miss everybody. But, <laughs> all class is super schneck. I, you know, actually, it would be kind of neat if there was a bonus for getting, like, one of every single class that somehow makes them better. But, oh well. Ah, I don't think the Jester is very good. This is the first build he's in, I believe. New class. Like, if his knives bounced, I think that would be maybe too good. I'll have to... I don't know. Maybe if he just had a regular attack on top of the cursing. Oh, maybe that's it. He's got a bouncing knife that applies the curse that makes them shoot knives. So he's like a weaker version of the rogue, but there's the curse... Uh, there's the curse that comes with it that makes it worth it. And also more bounce, because I know there's the uh, there's the rogue perk that makes it so their knives bounce more, but that only applies, I believe, to the scout. I don't think it applies to any of the other rogue classes, and I would love to see that, uh, you know, applied across the board. 